Hi, my name is Dana Arellano. I am a PhD student at the CCC, the Center for Scientific Research and Higher Education of Ensenada in Mexico. Here, my thesis focuses on understanding the role of T-cells in the bone microenvironment and the development of bone metastasis. Bone metastasis occur when cancer cells disseminate from a primary tumor to the bones and is a frequent complication of patients with breast and prostate cancer at advanced stages. Once cancer cells are in the bone, they disrupt the balance between bone formation and bone resorption and can cause fractures, severe pain, or spinal cord compression that reduce the quality of life of patients. Currently, only palliative treatments are available. Unfortunately, bone metastasis remain uncured. Immunotherapy is a promising therapeutic strategy to fight cancer. In the clinic, such treatments to activate or increase the number of T-cells have already been found to have good results in different types of cancer. However, little is known about the efficacy of immunotherapy for the treatment of bone metastasis. For this, we aim to characterize the effect of T-cells in bone metastasis and then to determine if immunotherapy could be applied in the treatment of bone metastasis. To do that, first we compare the development of bone metastasis from 41 cells, breast cancer cells from mice, between mice with a regular immune system or without T-cells, and for that we use two different models, severe combined immunodeficient or skid mice and T-cell depleted mice. In both of these models, we found the presence of T-cells caused more bone metastasis, a bigger osteolysis area, and a greater number of osteoclasts, suggesting that T-cells increase bone metastasis by increasing osteoclasts. To confirm this, we use an ex vivo osteoclastogenesis assay, in which we add T-cells to a bone marrow culture. Indeed, adding T-cells increase the amount of osteoclasts, as in mice but only when they were not activated. Indeed, in sharp contrast, when T-cells were activated before the assay, like immunotherapy aims to do, they inhibit osteoclast formation. These results are important since they show that immunotherapy-activated T-cells could prevent osteoclast formation and bone metastasis. They also suggest that T-cells in bone metastasis are not activated. Furthermore, studies the cells of the bone marrow of mice to identify factors suppressing T-cell activation, we found an increase of a population called myeloid-derived suppressor cells, or MDSCs. Interestingly, some of them are expressing the protein PDL1, while T-cells in bone metastasis express PD1, the receptor for PDL1. This is important since this axis PDL1 PD1 is well known to suppress T cell function in cancer. And antibodies to neutralize these molecules are currently used in clinic and could be tested against bone metastasis. To summarize, our results show that no activated T cells increase bone metastasis and promote the formation of osteoclasts. These results suggest that activating T-cells with immunotherapy could not only increase their anti-cancer effect, but also inhibit cancer cell-induced bone resorption to benefit patients suffering from bone metastasis.